Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 6th of September where I take just one of our many signals in our stock scanner members area and set it up on a chart with the entry stop loss and targets. So in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets potential long fifth wave trades on the 60 minute daily and the weekly time frame. Also, the same time frames on the sh on potential short fifth wave trades, and then we uh, have potential stochastic long and short trades on intraday. Interested in the longs today? So, members click on here and then simply click on the image to download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks like this. This is the daily time frame at the bottom of the spreadsheet. You can see the tabs for the weekly and the six minute. I'm concentrating on this daily today. Uh, I'm looking at Pepsi, PepsiCo Inc. PEP for potential long fifth wave move on the daily time frame. So let's have a look at the chart. So this is the Ninja Trader NT8 version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. It's also available on MultiCharts, TradeStation, and the Think or Swim Trading platform. Before I go any further, I just want to identify this previous pivot here on the left. That our entry point is, is above this previous previous pivot point here. So when I go on to explain the conservative entry, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Also, for those that have our indicator suite, I've isolated the wave count right down here at the bottom. And then our indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott waves. And it's the wave four that we're interested in right now. So let's zoom in there. Okay, so for the stock scanner membership, we have three main filters. The first filter is we've had a pullback against the main trend, this fourth wave. It's found support in our green zone. This green zone represents an 85% probability. If that support is found and it moves away, we get an 85% probability. We'll get to our target zone, which is our automated target zone in blue up here around $121. The next filter is the 535 oscillator, the top of the two subcharts down here, and this measures the performance of that wave four, and it should pull back between 90 and 140% as it does in this case, which is really good. And then the third filter is this false breakout stochastic. The yellow dots in the overbought zone denote a very strong bullish move. And then the stochastics pulled back against that and crossed over a couple of times, this on a complex wave four, into the oversold zone. Now, what we're looking for is a move back up to the overbought zone, in which case then we would confirm this really strong potential move. So we're looking for that to move up, um, but we have got an entry in line and in mind here. The Yesterday's candle was almost solid green, really good, bullish engulfing on the previous day's uh, doji candle which formed the wave four so really really good uh, strong bullish signal uh, we're looking for that fifth wave move we've got to go conservative on the entry as I mentioned earlier in the video here so we're above that major pivot point over to the left and also all of this support uh, with the bottom of these wicks here so we're above the $114 level mark so really conservative entry we want that continuation the higher high and the higher low from yesterday's session to continue so 114.10 is the entry the stop loss is a little below the wave 4 low there so I think I've put it around about 110.30 and then the target the middle of the target zone $121 so you can see the risk to reward there is about 1 to 1.8 so even remaining very, very conservative, we have a great risk reward of 1 to 1.8 into our target zone for PEP PepsiCo uh, on the daily time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.